everyone, it's Alyssa here at the Township of Washington Library and I'm going to show you how to make a really neat craft today using some pretty easy to find objects that you may already have. You can find these supplies at thrift stores, craft stores, the dollar store, or hopefully maybe you signed up for one of our grab and go kits for curbside pickup. But anyway, so we are going to take this wooden candlestick and this dollar store picture frame and, and we're going to turn it into this awesome pedestal picture frame. I love it. Um, this is super, super cool. I can totally imagine finding some different height candlesticks and making a bunch of these and putting them together to make a display on a table, sideboard, on your hutch, on your dresser. This one's definitely going in my room. I love it. This is so cool. And of course you can use whatever colors you want, but I went for this nice purple color and I did a black frame and I'm going to show you how to do this. It is so quick and so easy. You won't even believe it. I'm so thrilled with this and I hope you have fun with it as well. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started with the frame. Okay, so I'm going to tilt the camera down in just a second. But what I've already done because it takes forever to dry is I have started to paint my frame. I'm using some spray paint. So because this is a plastic surface, the spray paint is definitely going to cover a lot better and easier. What you can do if you're not going to use spray paint, you know, for whatever reason, it smells, it's not good for you to breathe in, whatever, obviously take it outside and spray paint. But if you don't have any spray paint and you don't feel like going to get spray paint, what you can do is you can grab some sandpaper and kind of rough it up, a really fine sandpaper. You can rough up the frame just a little bit and then your acrylic paint will stick to it better. So you can use acrylic paint. It's just a little streaky and it's a little hard to lay down on that very, very, very shiny plastic. But if you use a very fine grit sandpaper, you can rough it up a little bit and your acrylic paint will stick to it a lot better. So you can give that a try. Let me know how that works. But I definitely went for ease. I did um, run out of spray paint. <laughs> so I have some patches, so I will use <laughs> some acrylic paint to touch up a little bit. But it is definitely still drying, so I'm not going to touch it. But I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can see what it looks like so far. And then I'm going to get started on the pedestal piece. Okay, so you can see my frame, it's drying. I touched it over here, so now it's got a fingerprint spot. You know, whatever. Um, so we're gonna work on the wood part. And I love these because these are real wood. Um, these came from a really cool woodworking website and we got a great price for them. And so nice, they're real, real wood. Um, so I decided that I wanted to try something a little different. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'm going to use watercolor as if it's a stain. So instead of having to pay for a wood stain or um, that's also smelly and annoying to work with, I'm actually going to try using watercolor as a wood stain. And we're going to see how that works. So I just have this great violet liquid watercolor. I'm going to mix it with some water and I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. I'm going to use a nice foam brush today. See how that works for me. I have a little bowl of water. I have a little empty bowl because I feel like this is too much water. This is all process. Usually when you all see me do crafts, I'm I'm figuring it out as I'm recording it. <laughs> so I'm gonna just make sure I'm gonna shake this up, make sure um, sometimes they'll separate the pigment and the liquid, so I do wanna shake this up. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some into my empty bowl. And I'm gonna get some of my water and just pour it in a little bit and I'll just play with the consistency. I 
I'm gonna see how this works. I'm gonna make purple stain. Oh, it's fun. So, combined with the tone of the wood, it's kind of coming out to be more of a wine color, which I'm not mad about. It's actually really pretty, and I like that it's still um, woodsy. I'm going to continue giving it coats. The wood is definitely drinking it all in. Um, so I'm going to try giving it some more coats and see what happens as we go along. Don't miss any spots like I did. This is pretty though. I like it. I like the effect. I'm into it. See, I'm just going to give it some more coats, give it some time to dry and absorb and then I'll add some more coats to it. I like that you can still see the natural wood and where the wood is more thirsty than in other places and soaking it up. And I think that is really striking with the black of the frame. Obviously, this is supposed to match your decor, so you put it in, put in any colors you want. You don't even have to do this, the, the stain like I'm doing it. You can just do acrylic paint in any color that you want. You could put glitter, you could do whatever you want, but I thought I wanted to try this. It's a little different. It's a fun technique if you want to try it out with me. Watercolors are so easily and readily available. I thought this was a lot of fun. So I'm gonna let this dry for just about maybe five minutes. It's not so humid today, so um, it should dry pretty nicely. I'm gonna wait for this to continue to dry and then I'm going to touch it up and then I'm gonna come back and show you how to put it all together. Okay, so I think that this is dry enough that I can go ahead and start to assemble. So we're over here by an outlet where I have my hot glue gun. I would definitely recommend using something stronger than hot glue, but for right now, this is what I have. Um, the problem with hot glue and plastic is I'm sure many of you know sometimes the hot glue will just pop right off because it doesn't really have that much to bond to. Hot glue has its uses and its failures. I would use something stronger like a super glue, um, a rubber cement, um, things that you can find in the craft store. Um, I forget what it's called, like the E600 or 1600, I forget, I have some at home. I forget what it's called, but it's a very strong bond. And again, remember with some of those stronger glues, you wanna use them in a well-ventilated area, just like when you're spray painting your frame. So, but for right now, just so I can get this done and show everybody what it looks like when it's done, I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue. So, still a little wet you know, the limitations of working in a time limit, but it is dry enough that I can handle it, especially down here on this side. There are still some spots that now that it's drying, I see I want to touch up a little bit. Uh, maybe it was resting on the newspaper. Ah! Um, so once it's all assembled, it'll be a lot easier for me to touch up because I don't have to worry anymore about it getting stuck to the newspaper. So I want it to be here. I'm going to try to make it as centered as possible, which I know is going to drive me totally bananas. It's actually pretty good. Um, so I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see. Alright, so I'm just going to yeah, try to center it. So I'm going to just splash some glue down onto the wood and the frame and we'll see what happens. see if I can see where center is. 
That's pretty centered. So I'm going to push that down. A little glue bead coming out. I'm just going to scrape that away. Okay. So, I mean, it's, it's on there now. It's pretty good. And that's it. That's how you glue it together. Easy peasy. Okay, so that's it. This is my pedestal picture frame. As you can see, it went from that very red wine color to, I don't know if the color uh, representation is very accurate, but it's actually quite purple now. I did several coats and I did mess with, with the watercolors, you can mess with how diluted it is. So I did a couple of coats that were a little bit more diluted and then I think I did two that didn't have that much water in it at all, just kind of the water that had soaked up into the sponge of the brush. And it's, it's a really nice purple color, but you can still see all of the natural wood through it. I love it. Like I said before, if you want to just paint it, spray paint it, whatever it is that you would like to do, go for it. But watercolor on wood is a really fun way to stain it. And then my picture frame is all nice and painted. I like the black goes with the purple, matches my room. And again, you can paint this however you want. Um, you could also seal your wood. You could use a sealer, a clear coat. You could do the same with the frame. I'm undecided if I'm going to do that yet. I kind of like this matte look, but we'll see how it dries, if it needs any protection or if it needs to be sealed. We'll see, but that's it. This craft is super easy and super inexpensive and it is really chic looking and I'm a big fan and you can really customize this however you want. You can make it match your room, your dorm room, the living room, the kitchen, the basement, whatever it is. Glitter, bright colors, stripes, whatever it is that you want. You can decoupage on here. Whatever matches what you want to do. And it's just a really fun way to display photos. It's a little bit out of the ordinary and a little unexpected. All right, that is it for me today. If you decide to do this craft, please share it with me. I would love to see what colors and designs you come up with. You can leave a comment on this video, especially if we're on Facebook. You can leave a picture of yours right in the comments, or you can email it to me. My email is on our website, and let me know what you did. I would love to see your finished product. All right, everyone, have fun with your craft, and I'll see you soon. Bye.